can you just come back later? Zella, it's me. Can I please just come in? Delilah, please go away. I don't want people visiting me right now. I'm busy. Zella, please. Delilah, go away. I told you I don't want anyone visiting me, so leave. Delilah, go away. I'm not going to go away, Zella. I can tell when you're upset. Just please go. It's nothing. I'm fine. I can tell that you're not fine. I can tell by your voice that you're crying. What's wrong, Zella? Nothing. I'm fine. Leave me alone. No, Zella. <sighs> you are cutting yourself. You are not fine. Zella, tell me what is wrong. Nothing, okay? Nothing. I don't want to bother you with my problems. I don't want to put my problems on you. They're my problems. I'll fix them myself. Is that really how you feel? Like you just bother me with your problems? That you put your problems on me? Yes, okay, that is how I feel because it's true. All I do when I tell you my problems is put you down, make you feel like you're not good enough. Not good enough to help me with my issues. And I put my problems on you, making you worry about me and worry about my problems. <laughs> All I do is bother you. I mean, why wouldn't I? I know you say that I don't. But when I talk to you constantly about my problems, when I'm depressed, it's, I shouldn't be talking to you about that. That's my issue, not yours. I don't want to bother you with complaining about what's going on in my life. Sella, no. It is not complaining. You're getting off your chest what needs to be said. And it doesn't bother me. You never bother me. Okay? I... Of course I bother you. You're always gonna say that because you're my best friend. No, Zella. I mean it. That's the point. I'm your best friend. I'm supposed to help you through these issues. I'm supposed to be here for you through these issues. I'm supposed to make it so you don't... You don't do that to yourself. I am here for you, Zella, and I have been here for you since day one. I am not leaving your side, and I am not going to sit here knowing that you're crying and cutting yourself. I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing about it and have you keep your feelings in. Because I love you, and I'm here for you through everything. And you're not putting your problems on me. You're getting off what needs to be said. And that doesn't destroy my life at all. It hurts me to know that you're hurting. But I'd rather know that you're hurting instead of you living in silence. And not saying anything to me. Because then you do this. And you don't tell me. I don't tell you because I'm, I'm an issue. I'm a bother. I don't. You're not an issue, Zella. You're not a bother. You are my best friend, and I love you with every piece of my heart. And I want to be with you through the good times and the bad times, through the best times and the worst times. I want to help you. And I don't want you to feel like you're bothering me, because you're not. And I don't want you to feel like you're putting your issues on me, because you're not. I want you to talk to me. So please, Zella, talk to me. I'm here for you. I'm always going to be here for you. I just, I don't want to bother you, and I don't, I don't want to be a problem. You're not a problem. Listen to me. You are not a problem. Now tell me what is going on, because you are my best friend, and I'm here for you, and you are not putting your problems on me, and you are not bothering me. I want to know, I want you to talk to me about this, because you are cutting yourself. And obviously it's important if you're doing that. I love you and I don't want to see you like this. I don't want to see you cry and I definitely do not want to see you doing this to yourself. I don't want to walk in on this. So what is wrong? I love you too. I just... <sighs> it's him. I was in love with him. I loved him with every single piece of my heart and I told him every single day and he said the same to me. I was so happy with him. Delilah, you have no idea. He always made me feel worth it and wanted, and he was always there for me. He always understood what I was going through. He always tried to help me. I, I really thought 
I thought he was my soulmate. He'd take me on cute little dates and he'd always tell me I looked beautiful even when I really felt like I wasn't. He'd make me feel worth it when I felt it would be better if I was off this earth. He always made me see the best in things and see the best in myself. I fell for him so hard and I thought he fell for me too. But then one day he comes and tells me he's leaving. He tells me that he doesn't want to be with me anymore and that he found someone else. When I thought he was my soulmate, when I was in love with him. I know that you don't know what that's like. And trust me, you don't want to because it's one of the worst feelings you could ever feel. I feel numb without him here. And I feel so lonely without him to hold my hand and to kiss my forehead and to tell me everything's gonna be all right. It's just so insane to me that someone can go from being your everything to being your nothing, to being just another stranger you see in the hallways. I miss him so much. I, I'm so sorry. I really am sorry, Zilla. It's not your fault though, it's, it's not your problem and I don't want to, I don't, hey, I feel bad regardless. It may not be my problem. It may not be my fault, but I can always be sorry because my best friend is going through something, something so rough, and I don't want you to feel that way. I don't want you to feel worthless and to feel so crappy over this guy. This guy that can never see how amazing and beautiful you truly, truly are. He left you for someone else that is so ugly. For someone that would never treat him as good as you treated him. He doesn't deserve you. Not if he can't see how amazing you are. How beautiful you are. How worth it you are. How funny you are. And how good of a person you are and how fun you are to be around. If he can't see that, then he's not worth your time. Thank you, Delilah. Of course. I I love you. I love you too. And hey. Everything's going to be alright.